So I shot a deer in Kansas with this bullet, and I was highly suspect that the bullet was going to look like this. It was a total pass through, but the entry and exit hole on that deer was the same. That buck was at maybe 30 yards, and I shot him with 100 grain of powder. He expired pretty quickly, but it was very minimal blood. I had to get a tracking dog. Okay, take a look. This is one of the slugs or bullets that I pulled out of the bear I shot this year. So, long story short, I shot this bear twice. This is the bullet out of the bear from the second shot. It was quartering to me, found it in the hide on the opposite side. And as you can see, I could almost dang near reload that thing and shoot it again. I mean, the end of it is just smushed. The polymer tip is still in there. I mean, the whole bullet is here. I didn't find the first bullet for the bear. It was a total pass through, but again, it was minimal blood. Uh, here is a slug out of a bear, or actually out of a deer I killed uh, a few years ago. This is a 240 grain Thompson Center bullet. Dental research, it's actually a Hornady XTP bullet. And here's what it started out looking like. So, going forward, I will not be using the Hornady STT bullet. Uh, if anybody's got any experience with this, or if they've had some good reviews or bad reviews on this, I'd be happy to hear it. Or if you've ever dug a bullet out of a deer or a bear that looked like this, I'd be happy to hear it. So, with that being said, I want to end this. But, yeah, if anybody from Hornady's watching this, let me know. My bad shot. I don't, I don't really think it was that. That was 100 grain of powder, like I said. It went all the way through the bear and was caught in the hide on the opposite side. Let me know your thoughts. Get one more quick look at that.